Actually, you remind me to say something important for the listeners. Um, make sure your NR and your NMN is kept in the cold. Um, if it's just on the shelf and it's not in a, a stabilized form, then it will degrade into nicotinamide, which is something you don't want to take high doses of, because we've shown in my lab many years ago that nicotinamide will inhibit the sirtuins and PARP as well and, and interfere with DNA repair. What? Really? Like, yeah. the, like the form that's in vitamins? Right. It doesn't have a super long shelf life. Um, that's not very well known, so keep it cool. Wow. Uh, freezer or the fridge. But I mean, like, if you're buying, if you're buying nicotinamide riboside you know, from the, a variety of companies that make it, it's certainly not shipped to you cold. So the question is, how much of it's already degraded just on the shelf? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of the case with probiotics. You know, you, when you get probiotics, you want them to be shipped to you cold, yeah. you know, so that they're live. Um, right, same thing here. Uh, we, we have to also replace our mouse NMN. We put it in their water. We replace that every week because uh, it goes off. But that, if it gets wet or gets a bit of humidity in the bottle, uh, it, it's a, only a short time before it, it's degrading. In this video, I'll perform for you a lab experiment to test NMN stability in both powder and liquid forms and the implication of time when stored at room temperature. By the end of this video, you will be able to store your NMN products with confidence for at least one year. In organic chemistry, it is common sense to think that an organic molecule is more stable at low temperature. And at room temperature, it may degrade over time. However, this assumption is not always the case. Many people believe that NMN should be kept in the fridge to avoid degradation over time. But is this a truth or a spreading belief? So we decided to put it to the test. Our NMN stability test was performed by using high performance liquid chromatography, HPLC, where the changes in the NMN purity can be directly monitored as the result of NMN degradation. Two experiments were conducted. Experiment A, to test the stability of NMN in powder form. Two HPLC samples were measured. One is right upon receipt of purchased NMN, and the other is after storage at the room temperature in a white and opaque plastic bottle for one year. Experiment B, to test the stability of NMN in water solution. The same sample vial in water solution was tested at three different storage periods. First, freshly prepared NMN water solution. Second, after one month storage at room temperature. And third, after 12 months storage. Now, let's see the result. In experiment A, the HPLC analysis of the NMN powder right after purchase showed the purity of 99.8%, which is, in other words, an indication of how predominant NMN molecules are in the sample. The same NMN powder was kept at room temperature in a white plastic bottle tightly closed and analyzed after one year. As you can see in the chromatogram, the purity remained 99.8%. This experiment clearly showed there's no degradation of NMN molecules within a year. If your product is a powder and held in a well-capped bottle at room temperature. So what about humidity? Is this important for NMN stability? To answer the question, we conducted experiment B by dissolving powder NMN in water and measured the sample purity when it was freshly prepared one month later and 12 months later. The purity was found to be 99.7, 94.7, and 0%, respectively. Looking at the chromatograms, 
you can see a progressive drop of the NMN purity over time due to the molecular instability in water solution at the room temperature. Here comes the conclusion based on our experiment. First, you can keep your NMN powder product at room temperature without being worried about losing quality for at least one year. Second, NMN will degrade in the presence of water, so keep your product bottle tightly closed and away from water. And that should be enough.